Well, hey there, happy day 819 of what she up to now. She, Sharon Horn Elstrom, happens to be my name. What am I up to as I'm transitioning from the brick and mortar corporate world to the online world of business? I've been doing this daily vlog actually for what, 819 days and sharing what I'm doing, what's worked, what doesn't work, what's, what's served me well, what hasn't, what I've spun my wheels on and been really frustrated over. And then, you know, the good, the bad, and the ugly. That's what this little vlog is all about. The whole transition from the brick and mortar world to the online world. Now, you might be asking yourself, does it really take 819 days to go online? Absolutely, positively not. I went online in the very beginning, after just a few days. You find out what you need to do and you just do it and you start taking action. And it's been a continually improving and learning journey and lessons learned through that uh, couple year period, right? But it doesn't take that long. People are like, well, it's so hard. How am I going to go online? It's not hard. It's super easy. You can start today to be online. Um, that's just a false belief that gurus like to uh, perpetuate so that they can get more business. And, and it's sad, but true. Uh, so getting online isn't hard. That's not the hard part. That Actually, the hard part is, is getting over the beliefs that we have that it's going to be hard, that we can't do it. That's the, that's the biggest roadblock that we always, and each and every one of us have to overcome. So today I am thinking about what am I creating now? What are you creating now? What creating now or what am I creating now is my personal power question, my personal um, progress making um, or, or checking myself question. And I, it's now my underlying question. Mine used to be WTF, and I think I've shared that story here before about where and how that became, I became aware that that was my, my, my underlying question, which was not an empowering question. It was a very bad question, and it colored the way my life was going up to it and including the point of my life ending. And so that was a very disempowering question, and I needed to replace that with an empowering question. And the question that I chose, and I'm still using today, is what am I creating now? What am I creating now? What am I creating now? And it keeps me in a perpetual state of continuous improvement and personal growth and development and progress because I'm always asking myself, well, if I do this, is it moving me toward what I want or away from what I want? What am I creating now? Am I creating more of a feeling I want? I move toward it. If I'm creating more of feelings I don't want, I move away from it or I stop doing it. So that's my overlying question today. Talked about that as part of day 26 of the Get Up and Go Challenge. We did an exercise, be grateful for the good feelings that you have and be graceful when you're feeling bad. That's an activity from the Don't Sweat the Small Stuff workbook. Um, using that seems to be the theme of I'm pulling exercises from that every couple of days for the Get Up and Go Challenge because it focuses us on not overreacting to things and what we can do right now in small ways to incrementally move us forward. And our overriding objective in our life is to be continually moving us toward what it is that we want. Each and every one of us, no matter what we're here for, no matter what our purpose, no matter what our passion, we always want to be moving towards something that makes us feel good, feel the way we want to feel, right? Let's talk about that. Getting up on the wrong side of the bed was the topic of Supersize Your Business and just my Facebook Live chat. And I was really intrigued to find out that back in Roman times, left was considered bad. Left was considered sinister, evil, bad luck, and that if you put your left foot out on the floor first in the morning, that was considered bad luck and superstitious for, for years. The, the original expression was get up left foot forward and that that was a bad thing. Now I started thinking about myself personally and when I was married, I slept on the left side of the bed. I now sleep on the right side of the bed, but I still get out of the left side of the bed and I gotta believe 99% of the time I'm putting my left foot down first because I get out of the left side of the bed. So maybe that explains a lot of, of my, my challenges every day, right? But uh, getting up on the wrong side of the bed, we've all had experiences with that. And then what do you do about it? We talked about what do you do about it? Because I don't want to share an expression, tell you what it means, and then just leave you hanging. I want to say, what can you do about that? Because guess what? We can do something about everything and anything, right? Anything that happens around us, to us, or through us, we have the ability to filter, and we automatically filter it through all of our past experiences, but we have the ability to decide what it means to us. And that's why I'm liking these idioms. Idioms are fun to me because it, it reminds me every day that I get to read it, see where it came from, see what the common understanding is of it, but then I get to decide, well, how am I gonna interpret it? How am I gonna use that in my favor to move me in the direction I wanna go? 
so I'm, I'm liking the idiom. Fun challenge today was one that could lead us down a negative rabbit hole, and so I put a warning on it. It was actually to share something terrible that happened. I'm like, how is that fun? How is sharing something terrible that happened fun? So I put a warning on it to make sure that we don't get into pity parties and we won't get into um, negative downward spirals in thinking or feel like victims because something terrible happens. I wrote and said, hey, I spilt my coffee today because that's about as terrible as I want to focus on or as bad a thing as I want to happen today in my life. So my terrible thing was, hey, I spilt my coffee today. Now, secretly, I pretty much spill my coffee every day. I don't know why. It could be the vision. could be the, the klutziness all combined together to give me lots of coffee spilling experiences. But I'm not going to have a pity party over that, and I'm not going to feel a vict like a victim over that. I just get a paper towel or a towel, and I wipe it up, right? Knowing <laughs> another day, another spilled coffee, no big deal. And I don't spill the whole coffee, just part of it. Sometimes I spill the whole coffee, and, and that's just the way it is. So... I'm excited today. It's a fun day. Every day above ground is a good day, right? For some of us, no matter what's happening around us, pandemic or not, I'm going to have an awesome day and I encourage you to as well. Uh, I will go post my videos, go do that, go hang out, see if I can't get out in this beautiful sunny day. We had a nice warm sunny day yesterday and I'm trying to, to up my physical activity and movement because I have fallen into this slump where I'm just not moving enough. And I know for me personally, when I don't move enough, my joints freeze up and I'm like a robot and I can't move. So I want to make sure that I can keep moving and walking and not running. I don't run. ICD, don't run. Unless there's a bear chasing me, you won't ever see me running for anything. Uh, <laughs> that, that is so funny because my nephew is down in Florida and he sent a picture yesterday. There was a bear walking by their swimming pool and he happened to catch it on, on film. He didn't even know that there were bears down there, but there's a bear went out in the morning to do something and there's a bear walking right by the swimming pool down in Florida go figure so you never know a bear might be chasing me someday and I might be caught on film running let's hope not I'm hoping not have an amazing day if I can help you in any way just ask in the comments below if you are stuck and and concerned and not feeling like you know what to do first off know that at least 80% of the population right now is in that same boat and feeling um, that same way. They're worried, they're stressful, they're doubtful, they don't know what to do. Just ask and I will help you figure out what is the next step for you. Because each of us, we don't have to figure out everything. We just have to know what is the next thing we need to do. And then we just do that. And then after we do that, guess what? The next thing after that shows up. That's how our lives unfold in front of us. And we just have to be willing to ask, what is my next step? What do I need to do right now? What's the most important thing for me to pay attention to right now? And then we, we pay attention to that and we ask ourselves, what are the possibilities? What what else is possible? What could I do to be solution focused and, and solve this current problem or situation? And then what are all the possibilities? And then what will I do? What is one I'm going to pick and then move forward and do? That's it. Have an awesome day. I will, of course, be with you tomorrow. Take care. Bye.